to introduce, welcome first of all to the treatment um, stream, uh, all you treatment providers, and I'd like to introduce Celia Wong and Nate Ho, and they're both from the um, Upper Iowa University, both in the Department of Psychology. Um, uh, Celia has experience in business administration, has a master's in that, and, and Nate is um, an undergraduate uh, with an interest in clinical psychology. So they're both going to talk about um, Gamblers Anonymous. It's an interesting topic. I know there's been a resurgence around um, introduction of um, Gamblers Anonymous with clinical work. So people are sort of referring their clients across to Gamblers Anonymous and that used to happen about 20 years ago when I first started and it's dropped right off. And so it's interesting to get a resurgence of interest around this and whether or not there's something we've been missing out on for the last few years. So I'll, without more ado, we'll, um, we'll start. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. I'm Nate. <laughs> yeah, today our, our topic is the effectiveness of treatment methods of two Gambler Anonymous group in Hong Kong. First of all, uh, the Gambler Anonymous, which is called GA, is a self-help group in which um, male and female, they would like to combine their compulsive gambling through the sharing and also the religious belief. You can see in 2012, there are 11 registered non-profit gamble, gambling anonymous in Hong Kong. They provide counseling and also the treatment for the problem and the pathological gamblers. The government will also finance the counseling and the treatment services for the, for the uh, pathological gamblers. Uh, for the effectiveness of the GA, according to Nancy Page, uh, pathological gamblers are more active to participate in the professional treatment if they have engaged in the GA before. In 2004, the Hong Kong Poly U have committed to undertake an evaluation study on the effectiveness of two counseling treatment centers for the uh, pathological gamblers. The evaluation study uh, aims to launch a review of the adequacy and the effectiveness of the short-term uh, treatment services for the two centers. The reports found that the GA is an effective treatment for the gamblers. However, um, up to date, up to date, there's no research in Hong Kong comparing the GA groups. So this paper is mainly focused on the treatment and the effectiveness of the group treatment in the two GA center, which is named at um, PGP center and also the KY church. Both of them are affiliated with the local churches. The aims of this study is to provide an understanding in, the, in their efficiency of their treatment. Um, for the PGP uh, Center, uh, it is funded by the uh, GA leaders and a local church. The counseling process is through a modified 12-step program uh, for the gamblers. For the KY Church, it is funded by the Christian uh, Alliance uh, organization. They carry out the group therapy through worshiping and also the church activities. Uh, the method we have used in here in the, uh, in the uh, research is a qualitative study. We perform a uh, face-to-face interview with the clients in both GAs. For those participants in the PGP Center, 20 clients uh, were interviewed. All of them are men. Uh, also, their family have not joined the group. While the KY Church, they have over 100 members. Among them, uh, we mainly focus on 15 cases, uh, four, four female, uh, 11 men, and also their uh, families. All the participants aged between 20 to 65 years old. Um, there is uh, 40, uh, 34 cases displayed. Uh, the gambler uh, behavior are lasted than the uh, fifth years. 
both of the clients at PGP and also the KY groups have shared their stories uh, of how they develop their uh, gambling habits and also how this <coughs> behavior affect their normal life, their family, their friends, or even their careers. They also share their history of problem gambling and their family issue in the study. Um, for the comparison of two groups in our funding, we found that there are very different uh, worship formats in 2GA. <coughs> uh, for the PGP uh, Center, uh, it carried out customized 12 steps. It, for the traditional 12 steps, it mainly focused on the um, religion based, but for the customized 12 step, it is the religion removed. Besides, for the traditional one, it is for the alcohol anonymous, but for another one, it is for the gamblers anonymous. Besides, the spiritual and the religious is very important for the uh, traditional one. They share experience in a free associated way and through playing to their God. However, for the, for the customized one, it is by education, um, which is carried out by the professional. The gamblers share their experience in their structured way. So uh, they would like to uh, experience uh, some good activities. For the method, for the worship method in KY Church, uh, most of them, um, they are always over attending and there. Uh, the worship uh, process is divided into actually three parts. The first hour, uh, they would like to worshiping their God, and also they would be a player. Besides, they would like to sing the songs to worship their God. During the second hours, uh, the members share their special experience and there are different cases are involved in, so that they can know each other well. The first hour is focused on the treatment of the gamblers. The members actually divide into different groups. The clients and their family will be arranged to join different groups. Um, each group consists of six to eight members. During the group sharing, the gamblers will report their daily life and also uh, their uh, daily life problem to their uh, group members. The recovered members, the recovered member would give the positive words to encourage and also to support their kind's positive behavior. The worship gathering lasts for the uh, Christian mass worship. In addition to the weekly uh, gathering at the church, there are also uh, monthly activity in their community. Usually, the group size um, is about 10 petitioners. From time to time, the member will also uh, send different uh, encouraging words from the Bibles or to some sentence from the Bibles to remind their clients to keep away from their uh, problem gambling. Then, we would like to explain the treatment uh, uh, by the GA groups through four periodical analysis. Both of the KY and the PGP uh, emphasize so much on the cognitive behavioral methods to help their clients to change their gambling behavior. These methods are divided into four areas. The motivational interview, uh, the cognitive reconstructing, and also the uh, family therapy and the lifestyle modification. This part uh, we will uh, hand to our, our teammate Celia to do it. Thank, Thank you. you, Nate. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Celia. So, as the different professionals had emphasized the importance of um, in, uh, motivational interviewing in treatments of, for the different um, affective behaviors. So in KY and PGP Center, both leaders employed the interv uh, motivational interviewing method for their clients who visit the church for the first time. The church leaders request the gamblers to write down their personal backgrounds such as their job, their debt, 
or financial situation, and also their family status. The clients are encouraged to tell their stories and share their current problems during the first sessions. The church leaders emphasize the harmfulness of the problem gambling to themselves and also their families. Then they will review their case together and also understand how other members have been successfully quitting their problem gambling behaviors. It is a very useful method to convince and also to motivate the new <coughs> clients to continue joining the church activities in order to help their problem. Secondly, it is the cognitive restructuring. It is a kind of a CBT, the cognitive behavioral treatment. It can help change the addictive behavior. The church leaders help the clients to identify the key factors which can motivate them to change their uh, gambling behaviors. The church members keep close contact with um, their clients, especially for those newly joined the, the, the church through the different church activities and regular gatherings and even home visits. In addition to the CBT, financial and debt counseling, which is also give financial advice to the participants, as well as to help them to establish their self um, interventions and also important aspects for those clients. Further, there is a strict rule that the clients are not allowed to borrow money from their members. The church leaders also educate their clients' family members to stop all the financial support to those clients. This is a kind of a CBT technique so as to help the clients and their family members to rebuild their self-esteem, their intimacy, their hope, and also the meaning of their life. Third, this is a, also family therapy. <coughs> the problem gambling behavior not only affects an in individual, but also the family. In addition to the household finance, the greatest impact of the problem behavior on the family is really the disintegration of one's integrity and also the mutual trust among the family members. In the process of recovery, one important part is to rebuild the family relationships. Strong family relationships is one of the best way for recovery from gambling. In many cases, individual problems often have a root in their family system. According to those um, participants' feedback, the most difficult step for them after recovery is to rebuild their relationship with their family members. In this regard, the KY church leaders and also the members help the clients and their family members to work together and treat their problem. This is similar to the family therapy, which allows the client and their family to communicate. The whole family becomes part of the solution, and it is a very effective way to help the clients recover from their problem, problem gambling. Finally, it is also a lifestyle modification. There are two factors affecting the gambling behavior and recovery process, environment and human. Environment based on orientated emphasize the relationship between the problem gambling of the clients and also the environment they are in. The easier ways for the gamblers to access, the greater chance they will be attracted to it. The human environment factors refer to the frequency of um, the client's uh, family members, their relatives, and also their friends participate in gambling activities. If the frequency is high, the gambling behavior of the clients will be also high. So both the KY and PGP centers leaders help the clients to identify the triggers in their gambling. Those triggers include the high risk situation and the environmental that clients that trigger the, the client's gambling behavior. Both of the two church leaders remain their clients to avoid those uh, high risk situation. They also encourage the clients to expand their social networks through the church activities and members. The most important thing is to fill in the gambler's time and build up the intimacy with others. 
there are similarities and also difference between the KY and PGP groups. For the similarities, both of the groups incorporate the spiritual components and sober funds activities into the program. They encourage the individual to overcome addiction, addiction through their religion's power. They help other, their clients adapt the balanced lifestyles so as to quit their addictive behavior. This is one major difference on the KY church groups treatment and also when compared to the PGP groups. One of the key criteria to join the KY church is that the clients or the members have to become Christian and join the religion. Therefore, all of the clients in the KY church are Christian. This is also the limitation of the KY church. In contrast, the PGP um, center are open for the general public no matter um, if uh, they have a religion or not. The result of uh, this uh, study, so the first three to six months of uh, starting treatment is the most critical period to the successful rate of recovery. Clients who can continue for the first six months treatment seems to dissipate improved short-term outcome. And in most cases, if the clients uh, who receive the long-term treatment is better than those receive only short-term one, the 12 steps facilitation groups or religion-oriented groups can help to reduce relapse from different types of uh, addiction. So in this study, the KY Church and PGP Center itself emphasized on the religion's belief as an important element for change. The treatment modalities such as the weekly gathering improve, improve the clients' uh, social relationships, the support from others, and family therapies as important in the effective treatment of clients with problem gambling. Those are very good ways of relapse pre prevention. Thank you. Any question? <laughs> Celia, that was um, very enlightening. Now, we've got quite a bit of time for questions, which is very fortunate. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting in your uh, study theology and, and in Christian. Um, um, if you talk about uh, Christian leaders to run this group, yes. I'm interested in how they uh, have a, a training, like a, a psychological background which they have. So one person, they can be dangerous, and then they have strong stigma by So very good question. Thank you for that. So um, for for those uh, two centers, for the first one, PGTP Center, which was led by the, um, sponsored by the leader, and actually he is a formal pathological gambler. So um, he went to bankrupt um, for one time, and he he lost uh, really like um, um, in Hong Kong dollars, we say billion, we can count mm -hmm. so, such kind of big money and actually has a high education. And after um, he's really hit his bottom line and he want to recover from that. And therefore he start up that um, um, GA group um, by himself. He funded it, uh, he uh, recruit those uh, clients and bought them the dinner and, and also asked the church to share the place for gathering. And um, he, he's the leader to lead those uh, GA group. He was a trainer, so he attended to some of the psychology course and also the other G8 um, uh, teams in like um, overseas in the US to gain some knowledge. But uh, I would say that uh, he's not 100% professional. And then under that PGP group, um, uh, we, we, we know that a leader and then a um, few of us uh, work as a, like a, a volunteer to provide the customized 12 step uh, um, a program for them and in order to help and um, increase their knowledge on the treatment. Um, this is um, the PGP group. And then on the KY church, and this one is uh, really led by the, um, the church leader. 
And the church leader actually, he do not receive any formal psychology um, training or even though he was not really high educated, he do not have his degree, but he, he has a um, very, very um, um, passion to, uh, for himself and also he learned so much of um, the case from those addictive behavior clients. Um, he, he, their church is not just um, um, uh, highly focused on the gambling to people, but also on the people they have um, the alcohol uh, addiction and even the drug addiction. But 80% of uh, the clients is really from, from the um, problem gambling. So um, in this church, um, they, they have a quite sizable, they have uh, like uh, over 100 people to every week to have that gathering. And uh, they won for around 10 years and therefore the majority of um, their member is really come from those addictive behavior um, clients background. And therefore their member are, are so happy to sharing their experience and help the new joiner. So this is how they won and become, you know, a kind of uh, the GA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other Any questions? questions? Yes. Could I? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll just go keep it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the gambling is very highly stigmatized, and uh, how do um, participants? How how did they? overcome the, the reluctance to come open and to to um, share the experience. Um, is there any sort of um, different approach to encourage um, in a possible the, at the beginning phase um, to make sure that they come to, uh, to the uh, participation? Is there a different approach? Are, are there any differences in terms of approach? Do you want to answer? Or maybe I answer it. Um, um, so, um, in, in Q Church, um, the, the format is uh, slightly different. On the PGP Center, um, it's led by that um, leader. He, he was the purest uh, pathological gambler. So for that group, it's purely men, and, and they just come by themselves. They do not allow their family to, to join. It's, um, um, for that, that group, um, uh, I would say most of them, they're really also hitting the bottom and they want to find another way to change their life. They, they still care their family member. And on the other side, it's due to the Chinese culture. They do not want their family member uh, so worried about them, and therefore they seek for the help and go to that PGT, uh, PGP center. And for this center, I would say for those men, they, they feel comfortable to share their experience because uh, I feel, I attend that, um, they, they feel all of them, they are men, and they have the same experience, and sometimes they even do compare which one is more worse <laughs> before on their experience. And then they en um, encourage and support each other. They will have um, like uh, some football gathering um, on a weekly basis, so uh, the other activities. And, but it is purely uh, quite central on themselves uh, as a gambler. Um, this is uh, one way they, they can open up, I would say. Uh, I would say. And then on the other um, uh, center, the, the, the KY Church is uh, quite different. For that one, most of uh, the client, they go there, was escorted by their family members. <laughs> so, and, and on that um, KY Church, actually, they, they provide the treatment is both to the gambler and also the family members. So, um, and that's why their size is uh, like uh, over 100 people versus the PGGP, they have only like uh, 20 something men on that. So it's a, um, I would say those are two center are cover different type of people and personality. If um, the men, they, they want to save face, uh, they, they want to get some help, uh, they, they, would, they probably love to join the PGP center. If um, um, they, um, the people, they have a family member and their family member is uh, so care about um, you know, their gambling um, behavior, they, they will escort those gambler to the KY church. And then um, through the, the church activities um, and other members uh, help, they try to rebuild their lifestyle. So KY church is more focused on changing their, their living lifestyle and working together with um, the family to help them to rebuild, um, to correct their um, problem behavior. So it's a two different types. Yeah. Besides uh, the similarity 
for the both groups, they have the strong bonding with their uh, membership. So uh, they would like to uh, return back to join the gathering so that uh, they would like um, to um, become friends with them. Therefore, it is an important, uh, important uh, way for them to return back. This is a high return rate. And also, uh, the, uh, of course, the weekly gathering is very important for them, uh, such as uh, CNC, say uh, the football competition. Even in the KY church, there is some uh, traveling uh, in Hong Kong, yeah, so that they can build up a strong bonding with them. I think have one question. I was just going to ask whether, whether there was any difference in the success rate uh, between the treatment between the two churches. Yeah, um, actually, um, in terms of uh, the, the um, effective way, we participate on both uh, churches for around seven months. Um, and for the, for the PGP um, center, it's uh, quite stable because uh, their size is only like uh, 20 something people. And most of them, they, they joined the center like. Um, for over for five years. And therefore, they are, they are quite capable to help any young or new joiner. So, and they also understand if they can keep the new joiner for like uh, more than three months, then they, they are halfway success. And, and uh, we still say um, um, it's uh, almost like 50-50 uh, on, on the effectiveness uh, to keep those uh, new client because uh, it's many different factors, the, the new client, they may not uh, adapt to that environment, they will go away. And then on the other church, or the other GA, KY church, since uh, they, 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 they will come and join together with uh, their family members, I would say the successful rate is uh, become much higher because they always have uh, someone besides and <laughs> grab the hand and also remind them to join. And also uh, they, they know that they have uh, someone helping them work through the difficult pathway. And I would say the KY church, um, uh, the successful way uh, will be higher than the PGP one because PGP one is uh, purely um, the gambler, you just go by themselves. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, there's probably one more question. I, had, um, I just had oh, a sure, sure. one question if I could sneak one in. Yeah, sure. um, did any of these clients get therapy outside of the 12 step at the same time? Um, no. So um, most of um, the, the clients, um, they were actually referred by some of um, the government's or, um, oh, um, official um, um, organization. And then um, those organizations, due to the limited funding, they can only allow the three to six months of treatment for those gamblers. So after that, they still not totally recovered. So they, they will be referred to those uh, church or are they just uh, bought by their friends or relative to those uh, church. So, yeah. No, thank you very much. Quickly, just put your hands together. Thank you.